last video we left off getting the engine running on this thing and um, gone a long way since there. Let me show you what we did. Make it quick. It's just your typical rattle can and uh, repaired everything. So all I got left now is the seat. I got a seat coming. It's uh, made for this. It was hard to find for this particular bike, believe it or not. And I got the chain. We're going to put the chain on today. And it's ready to ride. So uh, let's take a look at it. All right, so for starters, you know, we got the new uh, the new piston and the new uh, cylinder and everything. The brand new head with the camshafts and the rockers, everything. New carburetor, new filter. Got the exhaust to fit. Wrapped it with a heat wrap so uh, these kids won't get burned as easily. Still possible, I'm sure. Um, painted the can, you know, sanded it down, painted it. It's nice. Uh, brand new hydraulic uh, master cylinder and uh, of course the caliper those are uh, real reasonably priced these things it's amazing and you know of course a little twenty dollar battery for this all new wiring uh, controls grips painted the bars yellow just kind of stand out of course new key new throttle and cable real reasonably priced this has the adjustment on it so you can uh, set it up for real slow speeds, you know, so the engine doesn't rev much so for beginners to get used to it. Also, don't forget the paint job. You know, we got a little rattle cam job going on here. Painted the bumper black. Tried to get to the, uh, the shocks apart, but uh, it was a little rough getting, uh, getting to the bolts in there to take the springs off. So I think the red looks fine. They're nothing special. I mean, they're springs more than shocks, I guess. Uh, new tubes in the front. I got brand new tubes for the back. They are sitting over there. Um, these have a slow leak in the back. The front was pretty fast, but slow leak in the back. So we will get that. And then, uh, of course, I got the cover off right now. Chain sprocket was uh, missing some bolts. Uh, we, they're... Teeth are in real good shape, so whenever this, this hasn't been ridden that much, I don't think. But uh, other than that, cleaned the tank out. Got these tires. These are in good shape. I believe these are, these are probably the originals. She's about ready to ride. Of course, new filters, new, you know, oil change. I mean, all that stuff. There she is. Let's get back a little bit here and take a look. I think we'll have a lot of fun on it. We got to start them off. Uh, all the grandkids haven't really ridden these. So, you know, we got to go easy. Maybe find an open spot and uh, let them uh, get used to it. So, uh, just wanted to give a little update on this. Don't know what brand it is. It's a Chinese uh, 110. Uh, we're going to do it in a um, Paw Patrol sort of design, which is a, a little show that the kids watch. And uh, we'll have a little white accent in here with a Paw Patrol uh, sticker on it, that type of thing. So, uh, kids ATV, lots of fun. It was fun uh, building it too. Simple enough, not a big ordeal, not too expensive, a couple hundred bucks, about it. And it went from a junker that somebody threw away to a good running machine. I'll have to let you hear it run. Free speed. With reverse. There you have it. Sounds good. <laughs> 